Okay, it's 1 a.m. and I really need to go to bed for reasons that will soon become evident. So what does this mean? This means fast, fast, fast video time. One, I am back in the US, as you can probably tell from my oh so familiar chair background and Christmas decorations also. Um, I'm very, very, very happy to be back. Yay, yay America, yay trash cans on the street. And I saw you, Hannah, today, so you already knew I was back in the US. Um, I surprised you at the airport, which was really, really fun. And so I'm back and I have a million things to do. But, but I'm happy to not be in India anymore. Two, my last week traveling around India was really good. I was with my parents and my sister and my sister's friend and my sister's boyfriend and my aunt. It was a very big group. And we were sort of like in a bubble traveling around India. Like there was a lot of like driving, so seeing India through car windows and having everything planned out for us in advance and not really interacting with people very much. And before I came there, none of them had chai, which is just like the India thing. I have like masala chai. And they hadn't um, been to a market yet, and they hadn't, some of them went to go the whole time without using squat toilets, etc. So they really, I don't know, they did experience India, but it wasn't quite the same as my experience of India. And even then, they were ready to go home after two weeks. And I was like, well, imagine three months. Three, I have so many things to do this week. Like, my list is just endless. And I haven't even packed yet, so you can see how well that's going. And I'm flipping out about it, and my mom's like, why are you flipping out about it? I don't want you to be in a bad, grumpy mood, which she has a point. I shouldn't be in a grumpy mood during Christmas, particularly since I'm finally home. But when she gets this grumpy Katie, because this is just Katie's general state of being, and I don't want to be grumpy Katie as my, like, neutral state of being, but I don't know. For today, while I was driving home from dropping off my friend, it was only like 7.30 and I was really, really tired, but I'm always really tired when I drive, slash all, just in general life, I'm always really tired. So I didn't really think much of it and I was trying to get home and I could tell I was kind of starting to fall asleep, but this is not rare for me, this happens a lot. And I got to the top of my hill and I'm driving and I'm like, two blocks away from my home and the next thing I know I'm hearing a scraping sound and I slammed on the brakes and pulled over to the side of the road because I had fallen asleep at the wheel which is scary. Um, turns out I had scraped against a pole so now I get to pay for the, those repairs which is awesome because I totally have money. Oh wait I was trying to save that money and now it's going to repairs because I'm a dumbass and fall asleep at the wheel. Five, all of these previous reasons are why I did not participate in Project for Awesome this year. It is a shame, it is bad of me, but it is just how things worked out this year. I think many of the people who participated did not just come home from India about two days ago. Um, I am sorry to charities, I like you. I did not donate because I didn't have money. I did not upvote because I did not have time. I did not make my own video because I was just confused and distracted and I fell asleep at the wheel. I'm sorry. I mean, those aren't really, those are just excuses, but still, they're legitly the reasons why I did not participate. Now I'm going to go to bed and I will hopefully not manage to screw that up. <sighs> I love you, I'm glad you're home. DFTBA, unlike me, <laughs>